But again, let's go back to what you can do. So, alter your lifestyle. Consider gym. Consider yoga particularly. Everyone says how helpful, reassuring and calming it is. The first two or three times you may do it, you may be sitting there and suddenly your panic overwhelms you again. Stay for as long as you can, get up quietly, walk out, catch your breath. You may be able to come back in. Yes, sit at the back of the room. I know that's what we do. Yes, if you go to the movies, you sit on an aisle seat. I know, but you've got to take some small steps to help yourself. So try going to yoga or gym again. If you feel you've got an attack coming on, that's fine. You know now how long it's going to last. Start counting backwards from 100 in threes. That takes a little bit of conversation, so it's 100, 97, 94, etc, etc. So you've really got to do some concentration. That may not be the best concentration for you. You personally might choose something else. Um, other people choose to ring a friend, and I think that is fabulous. There are so many people that will listen to you. You may only have three or four that know you have this problem with your life. Ring them first, but if they're not available, ring someone else. Ring a granny, an auntie, a friend, and just talk to them about anything. What's happening at the weekend? How have they been feeling? What are they doing with their lives? It doesn't matter. It's got to take your mind off the constant internal fear that you are experiencing. Panic attacks are acute fear. You need to learn how to control them in your life. We will be different, you and I but you will find a way to help yourself, particularly if you're working with a first-class therapist.